For 50 years, just a few miles from the last free-flowing stretch of the Columbia River, the Hanford site produced weapons-grade plutonium that helped end World War II, and later the Cold War. This unprecedented effort generated massive amounts of chemical and radioactive waste. 56 million gallons of that waste is currently stored in 177 underground tanks, some of which are presumed to have leaked, threatening the groundwater and the nearby Columbia River. Treating Hanford's waste presents a unique challenge because of its complexity. The Hanford tank waste consists of liquids and salt cake, a material with a consistency like wet beach sand, and deposits as hard as rocks. Other waste is the consistency of peanut butter, and each individual tank has its own diverse mix of chemical and radioactive waste. To solve this problem, the Department of Energy contracted Bechtel National to design and build a facility to treat and immobilize the waste. The Waste Treatment and Immobilization Plant, or VIT plant, will use a process called vitrification to immobilize the waste in solid glass for safe, long-term storage. Vitrification is a proven technology used in the United States and Europe, but never on the scale and complexity of waste found at Hanford. In the low-activity waste facility, waste will be mixed with glass-forming materials and heated to 2100 degrees Fahrenheit in two 300-ton melters, poured into stainless steel containers, cooled, and prepared for storage. The facility will produce 21 metric tons of immobilized glass per day. In glass form, the waste will be stable and impervious to the environment, allowing its radioactivity to safely decay over thousands of years. The low-activity waste facility is the key component of the department's focus on direct feed low-activity waste, a process which allows for the treatment of low-activity waste in advance of completion of the entire WTP. During DF law operations, approximately 1 million gallons of double shell tank waste will be delivered to the law facility for treatment each year. The VIT plant is being designed and built with the highest levels of nuclear quality and safety. All components, systems, and facilities will be rigorously tested during the startup and commissioning phase before they are declared ready for operations to process Hanford's radioactive tank waste. The 3,000 VIT plant employees making this happen are family, friends, and neighbors of those living along the Columbia River. They are proud participants in removing the threat posed by Hanford's radioactive tank waste and protecting the environment and the public. <laughs>